What is going on everybody, Zionic here, and in today's video we're gonna check out some awesome battles submitted to the channel by a member of the community, Ladybug. So shout out to this battler. We have the Little Remix Cup with Drifloon, uh, Alolan Meowth, and Squavit. Now notice that moveset there on Squavit. Bullet Seed Crunch and Body Slam. It's, it's it's kind of insane and broken, so use the squirrel as best as you can because this thing is awesome. Hope you guys enjoy. All right, getting into the first battle. It's just the pre-evolution of Greedent with the exact same moveset, but we got an Execute here on the lead. Now, Execute, Shadow Execute specifically, with its confusion damage, can really chunk, but thankfully, Drifloon right here is going to be able to get to an Icy Wind and force a shield now from the opponent because it's going to be doing super effective damage. We'll likely see a swap out right here, and we do into the Alolan Meowth, and those bites are just ripping apart and they try to get to the charge move but the meowth is gonna be guessing shielding yeah it's gonna be shielding and it's frustration oh man bringing out anything you possibly can the confusion damage is worth it alone so let's see what they decide to bring in it's gonna be a slugma and these bites are just tearing through the slugma they're gonna be able to get to the night slash in time this is gonna do a lot of neutral damage and remember because this is 500 combat power and under everything basically near one shots so we're going to see them fully take it out. A Tangela comes in. They have shield advantage. And we will see the Squavit come in right here. Three bullet seeds to the body slam. And I imagine this is going to one shot. Did you ever think I would be booming with a little chipmunk? No, you didn't. Boom! One shots the Tangela and takes out the Slugma. And that is going to be a good battle. Very well played. Buckle up, everyone. This squirrel is overpowered, and it's going to be fun to use. Drifloon on the lead versus Shadow Nidoran. So a pretty solid matchup right here, considering they're going to be resisting those poison stings. We see the swap out into Barboach, and we're going to see that Squavit come in. Those fast moves are doing a ton of damage anyway, so they're going to be able to come out of here with a lot of energy. They're going to go ahead and decide to no-shield the Ice Beam. That did an incredible amount of damage, and they should be able to get to two body slams. And if the opponent decides to shield... This is going to be bad news bears here as this chipmunk is looking to be dominant. They do sneak through a fast move as well thanks to that update um, earlier in the season. So they're going to be stopping the mud bomb, loading up on energy. They're going to go ahead and go for the uh, the next body slam here. It's going to take it out even though they did decide to undercharge it. So the barboach is going to be going down. Let's see what decides to come back in. It is going to be the Nidoran, so they're going to go ahead and go for the next body slam. I imagine this is going to near one shot if they let it go through. It's going to hurt. No, okay, not near one shot. 50% HP, though, is still really nice. We're going to have the Drifloon come in right here. We will see a swap out into Ducklet, so they're going to be able to get this Icy Wind off, and I am already loving this team right here. We're going to see the Meowth come in and start ripping apart with Bite, as you guys can see. This is so good. This is so much fun. I got to I gotta do some more battles here in the Little Remix Cup, but they're going to go ahead and no-shield the Bubble Beam. And just farm down with Bite as they'll be able to force the final shield here with Night Slash. And Drifloon has such a nice matchup that they should be able to close this game out just fine. So Night Slash will be getting the final shield. Any boost? No boost, but they did CMP tie, which is really nice. Drifloon is probably just going to come in. Yeah, Drifloon's going to come in um, and take this one right here as it will be resisting all the moves. And they should be able to get to an icy one in time. The opponent decides to surrender. So good game, very well played. All right, moving into the next one, we have Drifloon on the lead versus Ducklet. Someone's using a some kind of power tool outside. Give me a second. Of course, the the, the time I decide to uh, apologies there, the time I decide to keep my window open for some cool air. Uh, people start making loud noises outside. Who would have guessed? All right, we're going to see that swap out into Meowth right here as it's going to be doing a lot of damage. They swap out into Squavit themselves. So this is going to be very interesting as both teams have the OP Squirrel. So we'll have to see, but the key here is really overloading on energy. Access to Body Slam and Crunch. Really solid coverage on the meta. So they're going to go ahead and decide to no-shield the Body Slam. That does so much damage. My gosh, this thing is a threat. Holy cow. Now, they obviously have to worry about the crunch as it will do super effective damage, but thankfully this Icy Wind is probably going to do enough to one-shot the Squirrel if they decide to let it go. And no, it did not. So it holds on. It's going to be able to force a shield right here. So let's see how they pull this off. They're going to go ahead and swap into their own Squavit and farm down. Now, they are ahead on Energy. Ducklet is going to be coming back in, but is this going to be a Brave Bird? They're going to go ahead and shield and it's just a bubble beam shield bait. 
We will see the swap out into Shinx, but Shinx is so far behind on energy that they're going to be able to get to two body slams right here, likely taking it out as one is going to be shielded. And the second one, how much damage is it going to do? They don't go for the crunch, or they, they try to go for the crunch instead of going for the body slam. Is this going to be enough? Discharge? No, it hangs on and is able to get to the crunch in time. How much damage is this going to do? Oh, this is going to be beautiful. Oh, nearly, nearly took it out. They're going to have to swap in, but the Shinx is going to be able to farm down. No! Drifloon farms down. They're going to be able to get to the Icy Wind in time, but not before the charge move comes through. I think this is just going to be another bubble beam right here, and that is not going to be enough to take it out as they do get to the Icy Wind, and that is going to be a good battle, very well played. But my goodness, if you guys can really dance your energy with Squavit, this thing is looking to be absolutely insane and a lot of fun. All right. Moving into the next battle here. We have Drifloon on the lead versus Seal. We'll have to see um, what they, they've got to swap out right here. But yeah, they're going to go ahead and go straight into the Meowth and start getting ahead on energy. And the Seal's deciding to stay in. Obviously, wants to get off um, the debuff right here. But they're going to go ahead and shield. Now, we don't know what's in the back, but maybe this Meowth is just going to be able to sweep this team. They decided to go for Aqua Tail instead. And we will see a Wooper come in right here. So they're going to go ahead and go for the Night Slash Bite as well. If they want to, they might just be able to take Switch Advantage right here. Especially if they get a boost. No boost. So will they let this charge move go through? Likely come in with Squavit and fully load up on energy. That looks to be the plan as they get farmed down with Wooper. Now, Squavit right here. Oh, they're going to come in with Drifloon. That's fine as well. Um, as the uh, the Squavit will probably have to shield one of the charge moves here. But Body Slam, not going to do anything. So they can really load up on energy. So they're going to go... Oh, CMP tie right there. That's unfortunate. Might have been delayed CMP tie, which means it maybe didn't go through. Let's see. Yeah, Body Slam again. Nope, it wasn't CMP tied. That's good. Okay. So they're going to go ahead and go for the Icy Wind now to take out the Wooper. So there's still the seal to deal with, but let's see what is going to be coming in. They're going to go ahead and swap out right away into the Squabby. You can see them clicking on the bottom right hand side. They do swap out. The seal is coming in and it's going to be a Sandshrew in the back, which is taking super effective damage from Bullet Seed. And these body slams, obviously, are going to do an incredible amount of damage, forcing that final shield here. Oh, and landed for so much damage. This Squavit is literally overpowered. I figure all of you guys right now are looking to see if you have one in, in, your, in your inventory. And they're going to go ahead and farm down. Force the shield now versus seal with this body slam. And things are looking pretty good as they should be able to get to a charge move before seal can take them out. This is going to be incredibly close. They get to the body slam in time. The Squavit showing just how strong it can be. Squirrel power. Look at that. Oh, doesn't one-shot it right there. The seal hangs on, but one hex here from Drifloon should be enough as Aqua Tail. No, it doesn't even take it out. They're just going to go ahead and swap into the Drifloon and hex it down, and that is going to be a good battle. Very well played. All right, moving into the next one here. We have Drifloon on the lead versus Onyx. Okay, tough one. They're going to have to swap out right away. We do see the Meowth come in, and the Wooper is going to be coming in now. We saw this matchup before. Meowth can hang on, but ultimately this Wooper is going to have to shield, which is definitely a good position for them, as they can let this Body Slam go through and go for this Night Slash to force that shield right here. And if they get the boost as well, they might just be able to shield and fully farm down. Who knows? Let's see. They get the shield. No boost, though, but this Bite is still doing so much damage. Yeah, had they gotten the boost, that Wooper would have been gone. All right, so they're going to go ahead and come back in with Drifloon and farm down right here. No, they're going to come in with Squavit instead, looking to get really far ahead on energy. They're going to have to give up a shield for this Mud Bomb, and they might just have to give up another shield. Yeah, another charge move coming through, which is really unfortunate right here, as they will let this go through. Does a decent amount of neutral damage, but farming down, they have a good amount of energy. Now, we're going to be seeing Ducklet come in, so they're going to go ahead and actually go for Crunch right here. This is going to do a bit more damage and could apply that debuff as well. Nope. Oh, they does get the debuff right there, and we will see the Onyx decide to come in. So I'm wondering if in this case, maybe coming in with Drifloon again and really hard farming down would have been the right call. That's okay, but let's see if they can pull this game off. Okay, can they get to one more Icy Wind in time? This is going to be so close, and they get to it in time! Is this going to do enough neutral damage to take out the Onyx here? 
and no, it's barely not. They're going to have to farm down with the Squavit. The Onyx has energy, but if they can farm down and throw a Body Slam here, that is looking to be a good game. Oh, they let it go through. The Squavit still hangs on against Stone Edge. How tanky is this thing? No, they're not going to be able to win this game, but good game. Very well played. It just survived the Stone Edge. What? I'm guessing that was underpowered. There is no way. All right, so we got Why Not on the lead here. Really positive lead matchup for the Drifloon. And we will see them swap into Magnemite. And this thing is going to get deleted so fast. It's gone. Meowth just ate that thing for breakfast. Om nom 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 nom. Get him out of here. Ducklet is going to come in as well and is going to be taking a lot of neutral damage as this Meowth is something to be reckoned with as well. It just does so much oppressive neutral damage. They do get the shield with Night Slash and the Ducklet is forced to throw energy. Now, this is Bubble Beam, which I'm guessing it's going to be. Could be Aerial Ace. No, it's going to be Bubble Beam. It's not going to be enough to take out the Meowth, even though the attack dropped right there. They were able to pick off a little bit more HP. Now, they're going to come in with Squavit and Hard Farm down. And if they successfully shield the Brave Bird, things are looking really, really good. They're going to go ahead and let it go. And it was the Aerial Ace right there. So they should be able to load up on some energy. But this is getting extremely close. Yeah, they got to throw the Body Slam right here. So they do have a little bit of extra energy. They have shield advantage. And they're going to go ahead and bring back in the Why Not. And this Crunch right here is going to be forcing that final shield. And that's looking to be a good game. Very well played. As if this lands. Oh, okay. Why Not's really bulky. But ultimately, Why Not can't do anything right here. Especially with two to one shields. Um, with Hex and Icy Wind, it's over. They're going to go ahead and shield the Mirror Coat. Only charge move Why Not has. And this is going to be a good game. Very well played. So... Squavit looking incredibly strong in this meta. Oh my gosh. It's just, it just looks like so much fun to use. Maybe use it with a Scorpy as well, potentially for the insane spam. But that was the final battle. So hope you guys enjoyed today's video. Shout out to Ladybug for sharing these battles with us. Try out the uh, Squirrel of Doom right there. Incredibly strong and incredibly spammy. So like always, thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next one.